All right, everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange. Our adventure here with Max, and of course, our good bestie Chloe is part of it as well. Now, so far, the story has had no chill, and it seems like the chaos is about to start because this episode is called Chaos Theory, and we are, in fact, breaking into the principal's. It seems like it's his main office, and he's probably hiding something in there. The principal has been uh, proven to be useless, though, so I'm not sure if I quite care if we're breaking into his office. Uh, the only thing I care about is making sure my girls here don't get in trouble. But okay, that is all I'm gonna say. Let's go ahead and get started here with episode three. Oh no. We're gonna be a little bit traumatized with that. Cause that, it, it was very possible to lose Kate, y'all. <laughs> Thank goodness we didn't. Oh, Chloe. Late I knew at Chloe night? Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. I'll be back, hamster. Do I, um, do I have to feed you by any chance? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go you ahead and bunny? feed him. Here, not on this. Oh, it's a bunny. My bad. I kind of look like a hamster. I I'm not wearing my glasses either, so <laughs> I apologize. Anything else that we have to do before we go here? What was she doing? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Uh, now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I really do want to know what happened to Rachel. I, it's just the whole thing seems a little bit too fishy. And I don't think she would have just left like that. There's no freaking way. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. All these people are a whole bunch of hypocrites. I'm pretty sure it's the same ones that were making fun of her for that video. And I do strongly believe that she was drugged. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. And I'm pretty sure these people didn't like me either. Always saying that I'm just so quiet and I just bum myself with my camera. Because apparently nobody can mind their own business here. Okay. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Yeah, and the fact that somebody came in my room, which I know exactly who it was, they still gotta pay for that. Mm -mm. I haven't played in a couple days, but now I'm getting like a refresh of everything that happened, and I'm starting to feel... <laughs> I'm starting to feel revengeful again. Let me look at these photos real quick. Ew! Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? <laughs> Okay, he's trying to threaten me with, um, this pathetic stuff here. Okay, are we able to lock our room? I'm gonna erase this. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Oh, I thought... Okay, I'm just gonna leave it smeared. It's fine. I hope uh, we don't encounter another situation where we might be able to lose someone. That was very stressful. <laughs> Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be light. I said it for you, Max. Hope you don't mind. This is scary. This door is open. Girl, are you okay? Hold on. I need to check on her. 
Reina, and I think she's pregnant and i believe so i'm not 100 percent sure but i also do believe the booty hole that she's with is just that useless booty hole hey dana how are you doing better than kate i just can't believe she would even attempt suicide really with i guess you guys didn't put yourself in her shoes did you i think we're all responsible for what happened true but you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. That was bullshit. Where was everybody else? I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. I'm just over everything today. Hey. After everything she went through, everybody's feeling it, but um, I think... Kate is the one that deserves a break. Okay, I'm just making sure there's nobody lurking in the shadows, you know? <laughs> you never know. Gotta watch my back. Oh, is this when we're gonna sneak into the office of Principal Wells? So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh my god. Hello? Ah, gotcha. Okay, this is not a horror game. Why won't they fit? These keys are all broken. Come on, I don't want to interrupt. Well, maybe it's me. Principal Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. How do I sneak? What is he doing here? Isn't he supposed to go home? Shoot. What if I just lurk in the shadows? Also, the footsteps kind of sound like they're a little bit delayed, so I thought somebody was right behind me. I should be allowed to leave at night, man. You know, sometimes I just need fresh air. <laughs> Jesus, Chloe. <laughs> you know, I said it's not a horror game, but I'm a little bit tense. <laughs> what is it, girl? Oh, I have something to show you. Meet me in the front of campus. Get that AS in gear now. Max, I'm going. I know, it's... Shoot, I'm taking... Taking on quite a while. What if I just run? Wait, what's this? Hold on, hold on. Never mind, I thought I saw something. I'm just trying to find anything to distract this man. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, fuck it. I'm sitting my ass down. Oh. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Only if I was a little bit faster. Uh, he, we're gonna have to interact I with wish this man. Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off, entitled parents who want to blame Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Can I reverse time and then just run? <laughs> yeah, we have powers. I knew I was able to sneak past him if I was just the tiniest bit faster. And for some reason, he kind of sounds like he's drunk. I expect him to be because um, what we went through was quite intense. I doubt they see that every day. Max the Ninja strikes again. I did it! <laughs> okay, she said out front. Booyah! <laughs> Get it? Booyah. Like I'm... Scary punk ghost. <laughs> More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. 
Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> I don't know if the lights were on or if that was just a glitch. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Oh, they were Hopefully in there. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Oh, eat him, fall for it. Are you fucking Fuck kidding up. me? It's so stupid. Yeah, you are. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I, I'm so happy we're with Chloe, man. Especially hearing like how hurt she was that she just never got to her. Which, Max, that's still not okay on my book, you know? You gotta apologize more than just saying sorry. Maybe give an explanation, you know? Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Oh, man. Are we gonna get caught? Because the principal is Dude. here. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. 
We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Um, I know we need some light in here, but I kind of recommend you put it away. It's easily noticeable from outside. Okay, here we go. Also, uh, the principal might have some evidence that we need because, again, I kind of doubt that he's, uh, on our side. He he's more for whatever benefits himself and the school, I guess. Even if it means those booty holes to get away with everything. But Nathan did get expelled, and I just remembered it's gonna bite us in the booty, I bet. But we might be able to defend ourselves. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Okay, everything shall be fine. I'm not gonna stress out. We shall be fine. Nothing here. Just Chloe the lockpicker. Chloe the, Dead um, end. Uh, you know how she always used to say that at the end of her journals. I miss her journals. I'm not gonna lie, Max. Yours are not that, um, juicy. They <laughs> need a little bit more sauce in there. She just Chloe's so funny that Max is a little bit just more chill compared to her. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Keep Boring. Looking. Crap. Hold on, we're just, we just got started. Bathroom. Oh my god, there's Here so the many keys. keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Oh my god. <laughs> It gets worse! Hold on, I want to check the rest of the stuff here. There's nothing. Of course! Uh, most likely the principal has it himself. <laughs> I'm really curious how this is gonna work. We're not trying to blow up the door and leave all the evidence that we did that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Okay, um... I don't even know what classroom it is. You think I remember? Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Uh, I guess it's this one. <laughs> okay. I don't need the science book. This is the science lab, so the stuff should be in here. 
Yeah. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Um, I guess I need the sugar, but I can't. There we go. Ooh, sugar. Is that what I needed? Only three more items to go. Oh, I have to go around and find them. Um, uh, Warren, what was that again? Shoot, of course the game would let me have me go and look for everything. <laughs> I didn't even see that at first. Now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chloride. So we got sugar. I need to go find a soda can and duct tape. Where the hell would you find sodium chloride at? <gasps> okay, I have the can. You still there? Did you blow up, Max? <laughs> Still here, didn't blow it up. Not yet. I need to concentrate it now. Talk to you later. I probably should find those items now. Uh, I'm trying, girl. There has to be duct tape somewhere. <gasps> there it is. Yes. The tape yes. is mine. Sodium chloride. Only one more ingredient left. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? If it was in like black and white, maybe, but um, eh, I like this one better. Like, how the hell did she get that shot? <laughs> so sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Okay, so I had to read the book for her to realize it's a weed killer. Because I kept passing by now here. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. I looked freaking everywhere, and something wasn't making sense. But sometimes you're forced to interact with things, you know, for your character to learn things, and then... We can go on and find other items. Besides the ones that we thought that we needed. But okay, I think I have to go see Chloe and then put everything together. Let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully the principal doesn't come back. Because again, he's on campus. He's not home. I d does he sleep here too? Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle... This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Hurry. See what's in there and then reverse time and then maybe find another way to get in here oh that's so cool i didn't realize that if i'm already in here and i reverse time if i can get this bastard open she can't cheat with a ring oh this is bullshit fuck you door welcome to my domain you are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock? Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. 
Yeah, I also... We should turn that lamp off, man. I can't... Well, although I can't really see anything. I'm gonna have to be forced to turn it on. There we go. Search, search. I certainly can't use this. Weird. This <gasps> asshole has a spotless record. Oh, spotless. That's because he gets away with everything. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. What does it say? Our GPA is 2.8. Isn't that pretty bad? I remember how to be close to like five or something. So it says Max, as she prefers to be called, uh, because her name is Maxine. Well, it's Max for short, you dum-dums. It's considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her, her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Ah, so it's not that good. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence so some complaints find her too nervous and nosy some faculty members will like max to speak up more in class and be more assertive others will like her to be less so but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation what is up with people not being able to mind their own goddamn business i was never in class i'm like that person's not really talking or maybe the student should shut up i i didn't care i was just in there to learn absorb the information and then go on with my life update despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Maxwell showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. Okay, so we have Nathan Joshua Prescott. I just wanted to read this real quick. Uh, so it says Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Does he really though? Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to say those things. <laughs> so I kind of just sit here not believing any of that. Anyways, who else this is This file here? is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Victoria Maribeth Chase. Wait a minute. He's press god, and she's chi- So they're not brother and sister like I thought they were? It's not like they're dating. What? I don't know. I, I thought they were brother and sister, but I I'm just seeing the last names right now, and it seems like they're not. Are they stepbrother and stepsister? I can swear to god she was a- a Prescott as well. Uh, so it says Victoria Chase is a gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals and photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. Did anybody mention that she's a total B-I-T-C-H? And it's probably the reason why everybody's also saying highly things about her. She also knows how to manipulate people, kind of like how she she was doing with her photography teacher though he didn't fall for it i'm pretty sure she has other people around her finger mm -hmm. i have to make sure warren doesn't have a criminal background of warren wow 4.0 warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at blackwell he has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty some have accused him of playing sign pranks but this is not confirmed by his science teacher miss grant we hope warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future i like warren he's super cute he's just a cute little boy this pretty much sums up kate shy and sweet and in the wrong place wow there's a lot for her <laughs> All right, sit back, y'all. Let me read this. She has a 3.9 GPA. Her name is Kate Beverly Marsh. Uh, represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBA 7 News. And her diverse religious studies group have been welcoming addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendants 
attendance records in the school history. You see, she's just on her game. She's she's a good student. She's a good person. That kind of leads her to be an easy target because that's what people are looking for. Because she's just so nice and kind. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion regards Anne-Marie Berenci. So the school nurse noticed something, told the principal, and then he's shocked about what happened. Update. At time present, there is a security investigation into the controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at the Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or allegedly consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Why do I have the feeling that Rachel maybe got caught up in that, right? Because Victoria didn't like Rachel and she's part of this Vortex Club too, which kind of sounds like a club for like all the popular people and they just take advantage of you if you're not really one of them. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Okay, we have Rachel. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> oh, we gotta read these. Let's read Chloe's first. Oh my god, 1.7. Well, we knew she wasn't really doing that well. And didn't she get expelled like years ago now? Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her students. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update, Chloe is no longer a student at Blackwell to attach police records. I'm really curious why he still has this. I don't know about Rachel though, I think she did continue school and she probably finished. Unfortunately, Rachel has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her students are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue continue her academic excellence. So she still was going to school. Rachel Amber is the inquisential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is the hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as a fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is LT Crease Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Academy Bay Police Department. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking that because she was still going to school, Victoria doesn't like her, and Nathan is backing up Victoria. Probably invited her to a school, did something to her, and I hope, I hope they didn't hurt her. If this game doesn't let me hurt them, I'm gonna go crazy, okay? Because I'm gonna end Nathan and Victoria. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Yeah, Chloe, let's get the hell out of here. I found all the paperwork. Oh, Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. I wish I could see all the photos I've taken. I guess I can. Okay, I'm done. Let's go. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. 
What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Oh no. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. I knew they were gonna make me choose. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, I hate having to choose stuff like this. And I feel like the choices are a little bit more intense than it was in before the storm. I don't know, maybe because this is the future and I don't, I don't know how this ends, you know? Before the storm is something that happened previously before, so it wouldn't make such a big difference because this, this story was already out. <laughs> so if we leave the money, which I do believe that we should because it's going to um, a charity and whatnot, though charity for the most part I don't even know if they use the money how they're supposed to but at the same time if we do leave it Chloe might get in trouble something might happen to her because Frank in this one is a total b-hole okay he is just like Damien from before the storm and I thought Frank was gonna be super cool that sucks to find that out however um if we steal the money uh, what if they find out that it was us and then I'm scared of Chloe not actually using the money properly you know what just for shits and giggles let's steal it Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. <laughs> and with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Shouldn't we turn this off? and like put everything back how it was. Obviously with the money missing, they're gonna know that somebody came in here and all the files missing as well. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You wanna take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> oh, she started to say that because of Rachel. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? The last thing I'm gonna do is get caught in the boys' locker room. <laughs> Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I don't know how I feel about this, y'all. We might just get caught. They'll catch us with the money. The last thing I want is for my girl to get expelled. Chloe, where'd you go? 
Oh, these are the toilets. Oh, God. I wonder who that was. Victoria just needs to taste her own medicine, like... <laughs> and I wonder who put this here. Wow. She needs a taste of her own medicine. Somebody needs to give it to her. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Oh, wow. She, she's ready to go. She came prepared. <gasps> Time to do or dive, Max. Oh, we're doing it as well? Okay, one second. What, am I just supposed to get undressed here? I don't know how I feel about uh, going swimming and um, kind of being half naked and getting caught. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. Ah! I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? That's kind of true. <laughs> Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. All right, yeah, let's hurry. Everything's going very well. <laughs> I'm just 
There's all when we stressed out, y'all. Something might happen. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. <gasps> Hide. Hide! Why am I on this thing? Um, it might be a good freaking idea to... Move, to... Max! Don't waste your power oh. on getting busted! Oops, I didn't know where I was. I'm sorry. I'm telling you, I don't know this freaking school. Can I just get the hell out of here? Yep. Sure you Are you shitting me? Where the hell is that? Oh my god, it's David! Damn. We can Dude, never just hide. Like when we were kids. Frick off. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Oh, if I get caught, I'm gonna do that. Someone in here? Yeah, what the bloody hell is- hey. ah! <laughs> well, What would be a good hiding spot? I have no idea. I need more time to look. Oh, right here? I, I can't forget see. Hello? Alright, y'all need to screw off. They're gonna be coming in here. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Okay, I heard like something over here. There's two people in here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey. Oh damn it. Um. No, oh, I didn't mean for you to. Yeah, go all the way back. I need to figure out another way. Hide in the toilet, can I? Are they gone? Why is security here? Chloe, where did you go? Can I like exit through the door over there? We are so invisible. Let's bail. Yeah, we probably are. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the pool lights are on, so... Maybe they just left it on, you know? By accident? Doesn't mean anybody was in there. Oh, Wait, no. Wait! Turn around! They're coming! We have to find another way out! Oh, this is bullshit! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car! Get in! <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I really do wonder what time David goes home. It seems like he's just there all day, all night. I don't know, it's not like David doesn't know who the, like, the truck is. Well, I guess it's dark. He wasn't exactly looking at the trucks and cars parked. Oh, is it morning now? What day is it? We have to go to school? Take some classes? Oh, look, her roots are coming out. <gasps> it is kind of pinkish, you see? I forgot to tell you, I'm gonna do blue, pink, blue, pink until it's over. So it's pink in this episode now.
Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Sidewalk and the pigeons and my window reflection. Mask up polish in the evening. Okay, I need to get dressed now. What time is it? I know you have Chloe, you don't have um your clock anymore? Oh, maybe on my phone. Nope. Oh yeah, it's um, it's 8 a.m. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. <laughs> I guess we don't have like a normal, uh, I guess it's almost like a college schedule, right? At least that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know what time our class is. is our very first one. I don't even know what day of the week it is right now. <laughs> However, I do have to go through um, all the journal notes. So give me one second. Let me get that ready for y'all. Oh, we have another one from a private number. Hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. It kind of sounds like Victoria. She's the only one that kind of uses that kind of language, which is kind of funny because you're giving yourself away, girl. Max, please call us as soon as we can. We're so proud of you for saving this girl, and we want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes to wear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud to milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot more pages than there was in Before the Storm. And I can't even remember what the last one that I read was. I'm gonna have to go look at my footage real quick. Because I the last thing I want to do is read something that I already read. Okay, y'all. So I did look at my footage real quick. The last page that we read last time was 22. <laughs> now there's 46. Oh my god. Honestly a lot of these are just like recaps of what happened but i still feel very obligated to read them so i'm gonna do that for y'all skip it if you want all right it's up to you you have the power so this one is hello world october 8th i woke up this morning a different person even if nobody knows yet after yesterday's intense revelations with my rewind power and saving chloe's life among the other cray cray as victoria might say say 
<laughs> Events at Blackwell, I have to assume everything is different now. And I thought exposing my photo to the world was going to be hard. After Chloe dropped me off back at my dorm yesterday, I tried to find out more about the freak snowfall that happened when we were at the lighthouse, but the local meteorologists are stumped so far. I felt so jacked up that I pulled an all-nighter on time and physics research. Not being warned, I ended up knowing less about my situation than when I started. I don't really think that my tornado vision and the snowfall are connected, but at this point I have no fucking clue what to believe. I'm just so glad Chloe and I are on a team again. That has to be destiny. There really is. Now I have to hit the showers and get ready to meet Chloe for breakfast. Lord Nord, I need it. I ran into Kate in the showers and she asked for the October Country back. I love that book and definitely need to get my own copy. Of course, when I was in the shower, Victoria and Taylor barged in and totally started ragging on poor Kate about the video. Just to be complete assholes, they wrote the link on the mirror. I truly don't understand how they get off on acting like that. Victoria has everything. What does she gain by being a bully to Kate Marsh? We're supposed to be adults here, but I swear it's like Battle Royale just without the dystopia and exploding heads. Only Victoria can make me feel dirty in a shower. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find this creepy photo montage only Nathan would be this <laughs> disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want surveillance system now. As if things here weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number. Nathan? Victoria? No clue. I really have to start watching my back. I still have to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room and I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed like some emo goth then, and Kate is the opposite of emo or goth. She was crying in the dark and it was so sad to see her like this. More sad is that I wish I could take a picture of her framed in her expressionist misery. That would have been quite a photo, but quite messed up. Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Scott gave her a ride from the party to the ER and she thinks he did something to her but doesn't remember what. Oh my god, I really don't. I hope it's not what I think it is. I think we're all thinking it. He's already psychotic and he thinks he owns everything and everyone. It's hard not to believe Kate considering what kind of person she is and what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what the fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she can go to the police and the principal. I felt like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't go to anybody until she has more proof she was drugged. That video doesn't help her case at all and this could all backfire big time. She's going up against a whole press got empire, not just one rich white boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this. How can I blame her? I sometimes wonder what I am actually doing besides getting myself in more trouble. Even Kate booted me out of a room. Hello, everyday hero. I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. I only told him a little bit of what was going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately. <laughs> Just so he can have his own human time machine, or capture me for scientific experiments, or make me go to the drive-in with him. Or wait, I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. I hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, egomaniac. Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Anyways, I definitely need a movie escape. Oh no, she doesn't see him like that. I thought she did. Because he definitely likes her. I think it's very, uh... Very evident, but I thought she was liking him too. Oh no. Before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtracked rise to the Two Wells Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dump food carts than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate ocean ships and big ocean. Late was late, duh. So I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except up with customers better still the food hasn't changed at all joy seems really glad to see me again and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch after william died she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband chloe didn't want to accept that well because uh, hold on it was way too soon and way too fast and she was siding with some man instead of her daughter clearly chloe was going through really hard stuff it's a really terrible place to be in again speaking from experience here so for the mother to be kind of like just get over it that was her attitude like i got over it 
right, you get over it too. That wasn't right. Anyways, I feel like I went on that rant way too many times when we played for the storm, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> Joyce naturally gave me shit for corrupting Chloe with my devil weed, though I'm not sure she even believed it was mine. What can I say? I can see she actually loves David, even if I don't see how. The breakfast was so worth the grief though. So much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up more bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see her smile, but that smile meant more trouble, since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, I feel like a total boss. Except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wanted more, so I demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still has to get pissed off at me because I dare to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered, I actually felt worse for her. Chloe has to know that I have two friends at once. Oh yeah, Chloe has, um... Rachel, even though Rachel's kind of missing right now. Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier, Chloe took me to her secret lair. The city dump, perfect for Halloween. Like where the vehicle and appliance goals of Arcadia Bay came to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. But instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly kind of fun gun tricks. Until the guy Chloe owes money to showed up. Some skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe pay him back or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the loan shark I had expected, but I could literally feel his bad vibe. I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with such a loser like Frank. Frank wasn't that bad, y'all. What happened to him? Things got truly crazy when Frank took Chloe's gun, or should I say David's gun, and now we have to worry about one more lunatic after Chloe, and maybe me. Chloe really flipped out when she saw that Frank was wearing one of Rachel's Amber's bracelets. That means we definitely have another suspect. This is not how I intended to spend my time back in Arcadia Bay. That is suspicious though, the fact that he has her bracelet, and that's like her favorite bracelet, and she would never take it off. After all that drama-rama volume, XXII, I, I. Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks deep in the woods. We both needed to hear nothing but the sound of nature and wildlife. That's literally all I want for the rest of my life. But no, I'm stuck here in the city in the desert. I was shaken inside from our encounter with Frank and though Chloe fronts tough, I can tell she was shaken too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up watching Spongebob ended up in such a scary orbit. Still, I feel safer with her at my side and I was glad we had a moment of peace, though it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc. As Chloe's leg got caught in the rail just as the goddamn train showed up. Of course, I was trying to take a photo from my portfolio, and then I had a quick flash of my tornado vision. I can see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding, like in the 80s film, Scammers. Just as fast as the vision came, it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means, or doesn't. Then I heard Chloe screaming for help, and I was shitting kittens. Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and naturally, the train was coming around the mountain. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution to saving Chloe once again, but just in case this journal ever falls into the wrong hands, it's going to remain our BFF secret, so there. Well, she was reminding time, she's already said it previously before, but okay, Max. Our morning adventure over, Chloe dropped me off back at campus and she was so sweet and said that this had been the best week of her life, despite everything. That made me feel so awesome. Chloe really sees us like we're taking over the world, but what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off? Off the tracks. Chloe might have to lower her expectations, and so will I. Speaking of expectations, a David Manson stopped to talk to me without being a total brick. I thought he was gonna bust me for the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little, and for the first time, I felt kind of sorry for David. He's a veteran. I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me, but all the shit he pulled and treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it hard to get along, but I promise to try for world peace. Something odd happened, as if everything happening is in Bizarro, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson and she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, oh by the way, what's up with Kate? Like he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something, so what did he say to make her so upset? Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walked into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk on real asshole bookends. Kate Marsh almost killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's 
Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her like it was a Blackwell's rooftop concert and taking photos instead of like helping. I saw her actually jump, but I was just about able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it on the roof, but again, my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to see Kate. I had to try and talk to her on my own. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk to somebody out of suicide, but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. I covered everything I could and Kate almost jumped anyway. Cliche or not, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't all show it now. Lo and behold, Kate stepped back from the ledge. Alive, I almost cried in her arms. I know this isn't about me, though I have to admit it was an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the roof to the outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police were watching us, almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, give it up for Max, and everybody started to clap and cheer. Talk about surreal. The people who ignored me and treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. That might be the strangest things that happened to me this insane week. And that made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempts. Such cruel bullshit. Though to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared, which was probably a good thing. And after all that, I still had to talk to the police and give a statement. Felt so weird to do since I've seen it in pretty much every police procedure show I had to lie my ass off when he ignored me about the other students because I just don't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, this looks like a job for Supermax, right? Though, of course, I do love it when Chloe calls me that, even if I don't feel that every day heroic for helping Kate down. Maybe it's wrong for me to think I have to feel anything, but grateful that Kate didn't jump. What was really odd was when all the other students and faculty staff surrounded me and Kate and then started patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. I wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because of everybody at school. But like I said, I can't really blame everybody and I still don't really know where to point my fingers. The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile once she realized how happy everybody was that she was alive. I smiled too. The police and paramedics swooped in and then Kate was covered in a blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero, I guess. They're used to saving people without applause. But if I'm super honest, it felt pretty cool. Like I got a hug from the whole school. So maybe Blackwell Academy isn't totally bad. It's not enough that Kate is alive and though I'm not enough of a egomaniac to take the credit, I still had to get to Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Manson, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replaying in my head the moment when Kate stepped towards me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk, knowing he had a lot to do with Kate's suicide attempt. I thought about doing it and then flipping a quick <laughs> rewind, but I knew that would be the start of a bad dangerous habit. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days. After I told him what happened in the bathroom, he must have more shit on Nathan because otherwise I doubt this would happen to a Prescott. That's some small justice for Kate. There'll be more if it's the last thing I do, which it could be if I'm not careful. After being grilled and Principal's den, I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I can feel grass under my feet and watched the fluffy cows. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say it's better than being treated like a hero at school than like a twee loser. Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims. Not to mention me if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have let Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time. As if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse. That was not announced in the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? Oh, that's the moon and the eclipse. <laughs> I thought they were- I thought they were Orioles, y'all. <laughs> I think I'm hungry. Okay, so, uh, I guess for the next episode, we have to start on 39, okay? Don't forget 39. I don't want to read this because this is the beginning of this episode and we already know what's happened, so. So we have Joyce Price. Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in ye old Two Wells Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smile at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that 
day. That's the worst kind of rewind. One you can't control. But if I can go back to that moment, what would I do? I could only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Manson. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him. Disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously it didn't work out the way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. Well, he doesn't uh, treat Chloe that well and I doubt that's changed. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a Ghana. How did Chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected some tryhard gangsta, but he looks more like a dumpster diving troll. <laughs> I mean, he kind of was. He looks like he's trying too hard. Obviously, they made this game first and then they did before the storm. Why did they make such a drastic change, I wonder? Which I guess he kind of is since we were on his turf testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, aura, energy, whatever was bad. I can literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like, reserve your dogs, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again, since he was wearing one of Rachel's Amber's bracelets for what the F reasons. I doubt Chloe will be partying with him anymore but he's at the top of our suspect list now yep he definitely is okay um well i gotta go am i gonna use this drawer too i don't think i'll be washing today oh <laughs> Oh, come on, let's wear some of her clothes. It's super cool. Hold on, I want to. I want to see this real quick. Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Oh, 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 oh! Police and fire department responded to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1:30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Okay, well, I hope they never Thank find God out. Thank God, she's us. okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Okay, she's in a stable condition. I'm glad. Woo! Alrighty, let me put on my clothes. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Oh, it's the closet, okay. okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, I'm not gonna not kiss her. I mean, she's our best friend. It's like, it doesn't really mean much. Damn, <laughs> you're hardcore, Max. <laughs> Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Okay. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Consequences? What, we're gonna discover we're in love with our best friend? And so what? Would that be such a bad thing? Okay. Uh, wow, I don't get to pick. I just... Whatever it is. Okay. You do a game. I had more options than before the storm, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, Looking yeah. sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. So I soon? I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I'll see you later, Busty. Okay. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. 
I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. XO, talk to you later. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, promise. Is David in here? Or oh, he's maybe at school already. Hello, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Okay. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. No. Oh. Okay, I need to look at the newspaper real quick. Anything? Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Well, it's not like you caused it. It's already happening. It seems like this is David's food, man. I would love a bagel right now. Okay, let's just eat some food. That is Rachel's clothes. I remember her wearing that. Oh my god, where is this girl? Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna eat. I really question how much time do people have in the morning because for most of the time it's always like that in games and movies. Everybody else is always just rushing out the door. Am I done? Here you left some! Seeing you again ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. 
He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Well, you did did you guys have help. a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Let me try to figure this out, y'all. We're limited here on time. <laughs> oh no. This is so weird. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I, I guess he didn't give this to Chloe. Oh, they met at the diner. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you forgot. Smiley face. Okay, we got a couple options now. Let's go ahead and try them. Worst hacker ever. Score! <gasps> Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? What? What? No freaking way. She would never. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Follow Rachel to Lighthouse. Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at 2.30 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for, for possessions of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Manson, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure suspicious medical bag. This officer was called into question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Do not tell me that she ended up like her mother. Nope, I'm in denial. She was no way. Maybe she wanted to find out more about her mother and Frank's the only one that really knew. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate follows the same path to every class, overheard Kate and Dana talking about supplies for the Vortex Club party, drugs. Watched Kate with her church group, she knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. He's keeping a tab on us as well. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. I thought the entrance was over there. Huh. Maybe I got it all twisted up like a lot of things. <gasps> nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. 
What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? It's a no-brainer. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It ain't it's your home. my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Finally. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. No, why would she? It's, he's doing really sneaky, gross things. Why is he so obsessed with this, though? Like, keep it at, well, keep it at your job, you know what I mean? I'm not talking to anybody. I want to get the hell out of here now. Chloe, how are you, girl? I want to get this man kicked out, and maybe this might be the chance to do it. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. <laughs> I have to talk to them? We're leaving. Nope. Peace. <laughs> I'm just happy her mother finally sided with us. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being... More than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. <laughs> now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Do I have to go inside? Not, not right now, father. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to... Frank Bauer stars in A Faceful of Beans. You eat like a pig. 
Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> Can we take the keys? No, it didn't work. Damn it. Well, it was fun to see. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. What, is Nathan in here? Oh my god, he is! You... Rachel! Uh-huh. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to be doing in here. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. <laughs> I better finish my breakfast first. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Seems like everybody's in debt to those people. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> hmm. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation and he saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Can I do it now? Maybe. I also don't understand how, 
How do people know this is Rachel's clothes? Anybody, and like anybody can wear this. But did Rachel wear it all the time or something? Like nobody else can, because then you're like Rachel. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Well, I still have them, though. Well, don't put them on the table. I she have brought. The... Now back to Chloe. <laughs> it worked! We just had to tempt him. Mm -hmm. All right, on my way. Are you shitting me? Oh, it's that one girl. What? I'm not gonna reverse time. <laughs> Is it gonna do something? Good karma? I don't know. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Are you now eating? Let's get in and out. You oh, need this, Max. Treat. For the dog. On your mark, get set. Throw. I don't want the dog to get run over. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. You see, I think the dog would have gotten hit. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Oh. You scope the area while I... I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. This place did not look this bad. <laughs> How can somebody live like this? You know, it kind of looked decent before. Now it looks really terrible. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Okay, I really don't know what we're doing here. Curses! Nothing here! Oh shit, right, the knife is broken. Reversing time. I completely forgot I can do that sometimes. <laughs> My blade will open any portal. What is that? Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. 
I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompidio. There's a lot of weird shit going on with my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have. And I smile when I think of us together. Let us drive out of here forever. Love you always. This doesn't sound like Rachel unless she started to use the drugs. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. What Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. What the hell? Rachel, how did you- what? What? What happened with Chloe? You guys liked each other. You were gonna run away. And then you sided with Frank? It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Oh my god, what is she doing? <laughs> Y'all, yeah, I am shocked any of this has happened with Rachel. It's like, that, mm, that doesn't sound like Rachel. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. I can tell. But look at everything that's happened the past week. Your life has changed mine, and that's not shit. I'd really love to believe that. I'd like to believe in something after what's happened. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you.
Oh my God, what is happening now? Y'all, what is, what is going on? Max has more powers? Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey, you look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. No wonder why well, I didn't recognize I might just her. Allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William and is here. Can't, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that well, far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crickets. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Bread. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare It didn't look chef. anything like, right. like Max, like you're so that's the real why so cook here. confused who the other girl was. I am, when your mom is away. Okay, so we're like inside the picture. I'll let her know What that. am I supposed to do? And look at Chloe. Guess I don't even blame her for, like Max has to be a little bit understanding. Oh, that was that when she left? Hello? He left. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. If I take the keys, he can't leave. I'm gonna find them first. Aha! You can't <sighs> hide from me forever. Go back. After all, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Score! Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Joyce loves William so much. And maybe that's why she was trying to give it to someone else as soon as possible Shit, so she keys? wouldn't feel the pain. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Oh. oh! Max, this is not the best time for a prank. <laughs> Keys, please. Damn it! Uh, I was just... Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I... Um... Uh, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Okay, I need to do something else to destroy the damn thing. <laughs> okay.
Okay. I'm going to get the... Oh, I have the keys. Hello. What am I doing? Hey, honey. <gasps> Throw Just the keys. A fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two-way. <laughs> what? Okay, that worked. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> I still don't know what the hell happened, y'all. I'm just very happy that we were able to make that change, even if it wasn't like, you know, for real, for real. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. cold every day. But Never I Maxine. So I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. This kind of still feels like a dream. trying to figure out what's going on y'all just I I guess we're about to find out because it's making my head hurt <laughs> Orwells. Oh, look, the house is painted. 
so, oh, so that means it's, it was like, and the process of being painted. I always thought it was just a choice. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. the end of the freaking episode what happened to chloe is she the one that got in an accident yeah most people stole the money we kissed chloe it's not a big deal of course we were gonna side with chloe who the hell sided with david what is wrong with y'all <laughs> and of course we, we kept the doggy from harm chaos theory it wasn't as chaotic as i thought it would be even though you know it was in the title and whatnot but i don't know i guess what this episode taught me is that it's it's not always greener on the other side you know like they usually say I don't know if this was a dream that we were seeing, if we, if, if he was still alive and then we can tell Chloe, like, it was supposed to happen. Her father was supposed to die to prevent, I guess, her from getting in an accident that literally left her paralyzed. Anyways, y'all, I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. I really want to get started in the next episode to see if that's exactly what happens. We kind of tell Chloe and it might just help her heal. And again, because I, I do relate to chloe so much and i feel for her i don't blame her for blaming the whole world and blaming people because when you're in that situation you do need somebody and everybody kind of just bailed on her that's so messed up with rachel did too i just still come I, I can't believe that happened i can't believe that's even a thing what made her change was she juiced like using drugs and that's the reason why she got with frank does she want more information from her mother frank's the only one that knew about it i don't know i do i don't know and i are we gonna know eventually i can't believe she's somebody else that just left chloe i never saw that happening i never saw that being a thing but anyways y'all um i'm gonna go take a mini break kind of just let everything that happened sink in <laughs> and we'll see how the next episode goes the next one is called dark room we're really really close to the end y'all and i really don't know how all these powers are gonna like what's the consequences of it in the end you know that's what i'm really wondering but anyways friends this is the end of episode three the ending of this episode here with life is strange because let me tell y'all it's very strange and i'll catch you friends in the next episode which is episode four of dark room i better see y'all there and things are getting very um strange <laughs> yeah i'll see you in the next episode